All right, good morning. This is Mr. Caspari with your announcements for Tuesday, February 8th. Today is an A day. Uh, so first off, uh, today all seniors will uh, be in the cyber forensics and engineering pathway will be taking their portraits. Um, 9th and 11th graders, you guys will be taking your portraits two weeks from today, so keep an eye out for that official announcement with the exact date. The class of 2022 will be selling chocolate-covered strawberries. They're going to be on sale during lunch for delivery on Valentine's Day. The class of 2023 is selling Valentine's Day goodie bags. That includes a plush toy, candy, and all for $3. So place your orders with Mr. Martin, Ms. Confletti, or the class of 2023 officers. If you're interested in storyboard, creativity, and designing characters, join the Web Comic Club. The meetings are held every Monday after school in the art room, room 104. We'll also be doing COVID P, uh, PCR testing tomorrow, so uh, pay attention for that. And then wear a mask properly. Make sure you cover your nose and mouth to stop that spread. On this day, the eighth day of Black History Month, we are going to recognize John Henry Jack Yates. We cannot overstate his contribution to our very own city of Houston, a former slave ordained pastor and church founder, he not only championed education for black people by founding Houston Baptist Academy, the forerunner of Texas Southern University, but he also worked with other church leaders to establish Emancipation Park, the city's first park for black people. He was one of the most influential leaders of the Fourth Ward in Houston in the 19th century. So it is no surprise that Yates High School bears his name even this day. Deborah uh, Blacklock Sloan, a member of the Harris County Historical Commission, says of Yates, the man lived by what he preached, education, education, education. We have one boxer birthday today. Happy birthday, Ivan Rodriguez. Remember all, uh, you can if you want to. You will if you try. Thank you.